So I'm here with Jake and we have a visitor. Yeah. It's Derek. And there he is. He's our new neighbor and we were thinking we would paint him. So we're going to take a video of him. Da, da, da. So, but you're our neighbor now. Uh, yeah, and it's actually great to be on the island hanging with you. Yeah, we're a nice view for him, okay. All right. Good morning, Earth Things. Well, I took some video of my neighbor yesterday, and I was going to paint him. So I took the video, and I stopped at it just the right place where I like the shadows and the highlights. There. Now I looked for just the right twinkle in his eye, which I found it. Pretty stoic looking gentleman. Is that yeah. it? Then you go see a photo. Alright, here we go. This is how we do this. We take it from here, we push it over, and now it's here. And notice it's upside down. Oops. That's okay. show you now step by step. This is the color plate process that I go through. And I just painted in with one color, which is indigo, and it seemed to work out really well. There was another picture that I painted with just one color. It was a painting of Chewy. You can see in his eyes. Well, that tells the whole story. <laughs> I may assume. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go real slow and kind of explain everything, but it really won't take that long. And once I explain it to you, you'll be able to do this yourself. I promise you. I'm going to teach Jake how to do it, and you'll see what he does. Anyway, I'm going to fast it up now. Oh no, I'm going to slow it down now. <laughs> You're silly, I know. <laughs> I always start with the little ones and the ones that I want to make stand out. So once you get a color play on here, you won't ever see these lines again. So we put them on the bottom so they're there. This part of the nose where it has a shape that you can see is very important. Alright, so I'm going to put a little bit of water on my brush and I'm going to... So what I've actually done is diluted the indigo a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to do some negative, neg negative painting here. I'm painting the dark spots underneath the white spots. So what you actually see, it kind of looks like a tree, kind of like, like a, what's a tree. I don't want to put in too much detail and I'm going to cover this up later anyway. But I just, those are the important things. There's a bunch of important things down here. I'm diluting the paint even more.
and so there's a lot of water on my brush and I'm going to go ahead and pull some of this down in here like that okay I need more water because I'm going to take that but not that much this is where the water control comes in obviously all right so I don't want a lot of goofiness I'm just gonna do that much goofiness all right now see this is gonna be a color play right in here the line is gonna disappear like that because we don't really have a lot of lines but Now I'm looking at Now I'm gonna go on to a I'm gonna go into a bigger brush. And this is just water. Now I know what's there and I'm not using a different color at all, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull that in for a color play. And I'm not going to touch that yet, but that I can. Okay, so just a tiny bit. Oh yeah, that's not a tiny bit. Hmm. Alright, I'm not going to color play down into that. Now I've got that paint on my brush. There's not very much water there. It's mostly just paint. It's dark. It's dark. Now we're going to color play right here. Right there that color play I'm gonna just add water to it and encourage it to keep going into that that's nice now a little bit of water here just kind of encourage that color play because you can't see his eye but you know it's there all right here we go over here too now that's a little more dry so it's gonna stay put and we don't need these lines to be that crazed. Hmm. All right. Now this is mostly water. And I'm going right to the edge of the beard with the water. We can get into the bigger brush. Bigger brush had paint on it. Ha! <laughs> now it's fine. Okay, I'm taking this black part around his head really seriously. Taking that seriously. And I'm looking at where the darker spots would be. And the reason why I went up there with the water was because I like to color play along the beard. Made it look soft, natural. I did like this man's beard. Oh, beard girl. <laughs> I laugh about that. Uh, I wish I could grow a beard, but every time I do, people laugh at me. It's a comedian in me. Alright, that's quite a mess right there. That's a mess. Look at that. I'm going to come in here. So, this, this paint around here is a little bit more dry now. This is, believe me. So I'm going to pull it into his hat. Yeah it into the top to be able to barely see that there you go I think I might be I keep saying I always say that I know you're thinking it's funny that I say that I'm always done I always say that there you go I believe that it's Derek and an abstract there he is Ooh, it looks like the Shroud of Turin <laughs> he's gonna like that I think I'm gonna just think about where the sh whoops that's too much isn't it <laughs> whoa that's funny shroud of Turin I believe a shroud of Turin is the real thing I s took a look at that puppy one time and I was like that's what my messiah looks like if I ever knew him All right, a little water here is gonna make a color play 
make that edge softer. Yeah. There's Derek and Indigo. So what do you think about my color play method? I just used these brushes and Indigo. And I ended up with these three paintings. If I wanted to keep painting until I get the right one, I could go ahead and do that. But I think you like this one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't even show you how I painted it. <laughs> until later. If you want to go ahead and try this method, it's very simple. It's a lot of play. And what and what happens when you get pictures that look like that? Well, you either turn them over and use the back, or you use it for something else. I call it spent watercolor paper. And there's lots of stuff you can do with it. So don't be afraid to just have some fun. Paint seven of them, and the one that you like the best is the one you call your image. Until later, I'm going to work. I'm going to teach Jake how to watercolor. Maybe we'll even teach Howard too. I hope you find your yacht. I'm going to work. Well, I just wanted to show you what my quick, quick, I just wanted to show you what my quick warm up. <laughs> I have bloopers there. <laughs>